Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain how to implement the bootstrap card header image slider in a Blazor application. And here we got the final output. Let's wait for a moment. See, the images are sliding. This is the third one. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Blazor application. Go to File, New, Project and I am selecting Blazor app. Click Next. Let's give the project name is Card Header. image slider and I'm saving this project in core blazor folder which is in D drive click create after that I'm selecting the blazor server app template then click create and here the project has been created successfully let me close this default window now before implement the bootstrap card header image slider on this application let's check the basic default output of our application let's run this application first and here we got our the default output of our application is a blazor app this is a razor component about we got a layout menu now my aim is i want to implement the bootstrap card header image slider below this menu so first let's open the getbootstrap.com get bootstrap.com the getbootstrap.com is the official website of the bootstrap if you notice here it's a free open source toolkit so we don't require any license to use these components and i'm using the version 4.5 get started and search for let's go for components here and a component notice the cursor open that one here you can find the image sliders here the slides only I'm selecting this simple basic one let's copy this one and paste here in our application in our application notice the shared folder here expand that one in the shared folder the main layout open that one the main layout so here in this main layout razor component below the about link i'm pasting that the code which i have copied after that let's create one image folder in this www root folder select the www root folder right click the mouse add click new folder and the folder name is images enter now in this images i'm adding some existing images on my desktop i click the images folder add existing item what i'm doing it's not in my desktop it's in downloads i'm selecting image one to image five i have selected five images click add and here we got all the five images now let's drag and drop here we don't require this tilt symbol here images let's copy this one copy this one image 2 And this one is the image 3. Just for the demo purpose, I'm adding only 3 images. Here, this one. Now, let's check the basic output how it looks the designing part. After adding this console image slider on this application. So now here we got the image 
well, it's showing only one image because if we check in this do class the cursor item is active only one if I add to this class the active class if I add here on the image 3 the default image of this cursor slider will be this image 3 let's check the output So now we got new image which is an image 3. Now my next step is I want to add the card header images onto this cursor image slider. Let's do that one. Again switch over to getbootstrap.com. Getbootstrap.com. Get started. Go to components. Notice here in the components there is a card. Open that one. Here you can find different examples of cards. I'm selecting this image cap card. Copy this one. This is a code for this ever image. Let's paste that. Uh, stop this one. Let's paste here. After the cursor image active, don't the call is active here. Yeah, this is the first image. Copy this one. Second image and third card header image. Let's copy this first image and paste here. And this second image, copy this one and press here for the second card and for the third image for the third one now after that go to top below this about tag i'm adding the new do class container flare and i'm adding rows do class is row. Let's close this one. And I'm closing this do tags with these both do tags below this console images. Then I'm adding this same class container fluid and row class after the console item here and I'm closing this do tags after this image headers let's add those ones slash do and slash do now we don't have any errors let's check the output how it looks the new output oops here yeah. We need to change this is active here let's make this one active personal item active let's run this application again and here we got our new output the three card header image slider now let's adjust this width stop debugging here in the top let's add the new class do class column small size i'm adding the size 12 let's close this do copy this one and close after this do tab the whole do part copy this one after the row we'll add this one now we need to close this do the first one second one the third card after that now let's close this do here is do. Okay, 
Again, same thing, copy this one, paste here. And paste, and close the do tag. The last one, we'll close the do tag. Now let's check the new output after adding the column sizes on this application here we got our new output these images are a small size so we'll add one more column large let's add uh, the column 4 the same thing to every column to every image header let's restart this application again we'll check the new output see now we got new output the three image headers is in perfect position now the next step we need to add the image slider functionality so again switch over to the coding part what I'll do is uh, sub debugging we require let's copy this one and paste here and this one also paste here now we require the bootstrap CDM links again switch over to the get bootstrap website.com that com get started notice here there is a jquery snippets here cdn snippets for the bootstrap let's copy these three snippets and paste here uh, where it is in the pages let me expand this pages folder notice the underscore host.cshtml open that one in this header section, I am adding those three jQuery plugins of the bootstrap. And I am not adding the bootstrap min.css because by default, we got the bootstrap CSS files is added to our application. Now we require the latest jQuery CDN also. And search for latest jQuery CDN Google enter hosted libraries let's select that one in the Google hosted libraries notice in the libraries section this is a, a link I require the latest version of the jQuery 3.5.1 have copied that one and pasting after the bootstrap serial links and also one important thing is come to the bottom notice here the blazor server.js script let's copy this one and add here now after adding the necessary CDN links the bootstrap and jQuery CDN links let's switch over to the razor component we require one small function here first let's First, let's inject the Microsoft inject Microsoft.js interop.js runtime. Let's add JS runtime. After that, let's add the functions. Now, in these functions, I'm adding one async override protected async override task here the method I'm adding on after render on after render async async method And this method takes the uh, data type bool first render 
render now in this function i'm adding the if condition if first render await js runtime notice we have two js runtime let's set the property of the js runtime dot invoke async i'm adding the object object method i'm adding the string identifier called uh, image header colon first render is equals to false let's set that one false now we need to add this card image header in the CS HTML we need reference of this function let's copy this one switch to the host.cs HTML after this server script I am adding one more script tag here script window dot I'm pasting that card header image let's give the interval of the slides dollar using double quotes the image we are getting the images from this do ID let's copy this carousel example slides only copy that one when we are adding IDs in the jQuery or JavaScript, we need to prefix with hash, then add the ID dot console. Let's add the interval. I'm adding the 100. The delay time is 100. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. Now it's time to check the final output on the browser. Let's run this application. And here we got the final output. Let's wait for a moment. See, the images are sliding. This is the third one. That's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained how to add the Bootstrap card header image slider in a Blazor application. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.